You see, what Ann was just reporting on, that is President Obama's weapon, his ability to connect. During this campaign, the president is forced to face this reality, that the economy on many fronts, jobs, housing, health care, education, completely challenged, sluggish, and it's on his watch. With that said, the president knows how to move an audience, and that's exactly what he did in Virginia Beach and also in Hampton. President Obama found himself in the House of Friends, nearly 2,000 of them. We've worked hard over the last three and a half years to try to restore that belief that in this country you can make it if you try. The line got big applause, but the problem is millions have been trying to make it and can't because they don't have jobs. There aren't any jobs. The president spins the high unemployment rate by finding the silver lining. Business started getting back to basics, and we've now created more than 4.4 million new jobs. More than 500,000 manufacturing jobs created during this time. Knowing that no president has ever won re-election with unemployment higher than 7.9% and with a rate higher than that now, President Obama has to acknowledge what is true. Restore that promise for middle class families and all who are striving to get into the middle class. That's what we're fighting for. And we've got a lot more work to do on that front. The speech ended with an emotional plea to stand up and fight. I believe in you. And I hope you still believe in me. Because I've kept that promise. And i fought for you. And I'm going to keep on fighting for you as long as I have a chance to be your president. But here's the question. The question is, for how long will President Obama have the chance to be your president? The answer to that could rest in the hands of voters living right here in Virginia and also in Ohio, two states where, ironically, the unemployment rate is lower than the national average. If President Obama can win Virginia and Ohio, like he did in 2008, he will most likely have the chance to be president again. He knows that, and so does Republican challenger Mitt Romney. And that is why these guys are going to spend a lot of time here in Virginia and Ohio. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.